Alrighty, hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 21. And in this tutorial, um, yeah, I'd like to move on past our slideshow. So we've got our slideshow done. And uh, if we take a look at the next kind of things that we have in our design here, it is the content for our homepage. So uh, one thing to work on is probably this uh, packages section here. Um, where you know we're just showing the user some packages and um, yeah they can book or click on one of those to find out more then um, then we'll probably take care of this little blue line over here so uh, yeah let's jump over to Asana I'm gonna move my home page slider task under testing so somebody go, can go ahead and check that out and test it for us uh, but now let's move on to building the uh, the content for our homepage. So I think these these two things will be the first two things to focus on. Uh, so let's jump over to the text editor. And I suppose to keep everything nice and neat and tidy, we could probably put our slideshow in and include. Um, that would also mean that we could include it on other pages. So might be useful. But I suppose for now, uh, let's, let's just put our content um, and down here, so home page content starts here, All right? And um, let's let's actually add in our content. So the first thing I want to do is create a div, and I think I'm going to give this div a class of whatever we had on our other uh, files here. So what was this? A UK block and UK block um, secondary. So that's the class I want to use here. Okay, and the reason why is because there's that black background that is our secondary color. So uh, adding in that uh, that block over here is just going to add that secondary color in for us. Something that I think I left out in my design that I should probably have fixed is to put in a heading here. Um, but I don't know. I didn't use headings on my home page, and then I went ahead and on my other pages in my design I had headings here. So. Uh, not quite sure what I should do with that. Maybe I should just put a heading in here for now um, to say, uh, let's add in and not an, yeah, I suppose let's, let's use an H2, uh, but we'll give it a class of UK dash H1. Uh, and then we can add in our text. So let's just say some of our uh, awesome packages and I think all of this is going to be capitalized anyway so it's fine um, and from here we can start adding in our packages right so uh, I think let's open up a, a div uh, let's add in a class here of uh, UK well UK container UK container dash center um, I'm just kind of intrigued I should probably have put this within our container so let's remove that and put that in here and then also give this a class of UK text center right and then the packages will probably come inside of here so over there uh, so let's create a div, give this a class of UK dash grid. And the reason why is because we have to enclose all of uh, our columns in a grid. So I'm going to add three columns here. Uh, so there needs to be an outer grid to align all of those next to each other. That's just how UIKit works, right? So let's create a, a div here. And let's give this a class of UK with one of three. Now, uh, if I do this, it's also going to split the columns into three columns on a phone screen or a mobile screen. And those that's probably going to make these columns too small. And also my design is not having columns on a mobile phone screen anymore. So to kind of counteract that, all we need to do is type the word medium over here right and that's going to make sure that 
on a large screen or anything larger than a medium screen, we're splitting our website in, into three columns like this, or we're splitting um, just this div into three columns. But on a mobile screen, we'll kind of ignore that and let our columns take the full width of the, the page. So um, yeah, now I can go ahead and actually create three columns, but instead of copying this down three times, let's get one perfect, and then we'll just copy and paste that one down another two more times. So the next thing we need to do here is add in, um, add in an image. So what do we have here? We have an image, we have a heading, we have text, and then we have a, a button. Uh, so let's add in an image. Then we'll also add in our heading, which I think should be an H3. Um, then we'll add in uh, our uh, paragraph of text. Uh, so for this, I'm just going to uh, um, type and lorem and hit tab, and that's just gonna generate some lorem ipsum for me. Uh, and then we can go ahead and end this off with well, we might as well open up a paragraph for that and then uh, add in an A tag over here with a class of UK button and UK button primary. And I can just say book now, right? So let's take a look at what this looks like in the browser so far. It's nowhere near ready, but Let's refresh. Okay, some of our awesome packages. Mm, all right, so uh, something I need to fix here is to give this a another class. So on the outer block, let's give this a class of UK-contrast. And that's gonna turn everything within the block white, hopefully, so let's refresh. Boom, so our text is now white. Um, Okay, as far as uh, the rest of the stuff goes, we need to add in a white background here. So essentially we need to turn this into uh, a UI kit panel. So let's get UI kit. Uh, and let's look at the documentation here. There should be a documentation for something called a panel. Alrighty, okay, I found it. So we've got uh, the panel. And let's take a look at some of the examples here because I think I actually copied uh, one of these examples for my design. Aha, there we go. So UK panel, UK panel box, and I think we might even need UK panel box dash default or something. But let's try it with this. So I'm not sure if we should put that on the actual I'm not sure if we should put our panel here, if we should, up, should put our panel here, but let's try it like that at first. And then let's also create another div here. Take this image and throw it in there. And this needs to have a class of UK-panel-teaser. And I think this also needs to have a class of UK-panel-header or something like that. Let's let's take a look at the documentation again. UK panel teaser for our image and for our headings. I saw it now. Hmm. Ah, UK panel dash title. UK panel dash title. Sweet. All right, so let's come back to the browser. And take a look at that now. Ta-da! Okay, so we have a white background. We have our package kind of showing up right. We've got the text, we've got the button. Uh, it's literally just the image that needs to be fixed. So uh, I think I don't actually have my images saved just yet. So let's go over to Photoshop. And yeah, I basically want this image. Well, yeah, I want all of these. Uh, so let's see if I can find those in my documentation. 
Okay, so yeah, I'm back and uh, I just went ahead and exported those images for us because I didn't actually have them ready and exported for us. Uh, but there we go, I now have all of them done. They are all 500 by 330 pixels. Um, and yeah, uh, they're probably gonna display slightly smaller than that on the site, but uh, just to be safe, that's the size I decided to use. And yeah, I just wanted to point out that they are all exactly the same size. It's very good to try and crop your images to all be the same size. Don't try and mess about or muck about by having images that are different sizes because it's probably gonna push things out of alignment. So it's gonna make the heading like display slightly lower down and that kind of thing. And that's just gonna be really annoying. So try to not do that by just cropping your images to be exactly the right size from the beginning. Uh, and now let's uh, let's just copy this packages folder and let's go over to my builder web, Ooh, no, no, HT docs and uh, then images. Okay, so this is uh, where we are uh, gonna paste our images. And yeah, that, I mean, this is my basic uh, website setup here. You can probably throw that zip file away. And yeah, inside a folder called packages, that's where my package pictures are going to be. So uh, yeah, now we can start using those in my uh, text editor. So uh, let's see, under images, we'll go images, uh, packages. Is it images or is it image? Interesting. Uh, images, packages. Uh, the first one was going to be sunrise holiday. So sunrise dash holiday dot, what did I save them as? JPEGs, dot JPEG, right? Uh, and now we can go ahead and probably copy this down three times. Let's see. Just space them out a little bit. And now let's take a look at them in the browser. And okay, we got, <laughs> we got some issues. Uh, first of all, my images still aren't showing up. That's interesting, let's see why. Images, packages, sunrise, holiday. Maybe I got the name wrong. And then also uh, the other thing is there's no spacing between all of them. So uh, we need to we need to fix that. And I think the way we fix that is just to take these classes and put another div around them. So let's let's get rid of these two duplicates and fix everything from the beginning and then we'll start again. We'll copy them down again. So let's create a div here. And for that div, let's give it two classes. Let's end that div off down there, wait, down there. Yeah, okay, that's that's best. Uh, and then move that in one, right? Okay, cool. So that should fix our spacing problem. Then we just need to fix the image problem. Uh, so, images, packages, oh, just, just sunrise, and then the other one was beach-holiday. So let's just change, let's change that one to just beach. And that one to just sunrise, so just sunrise. Um, let's just double check and make sure this loads for now. Boom, okay, so that's that's one. It seems to be working fine. Let's Let's pull the rest through. So, actually, yeah, we want that, that whole one. Uh, okay, so there's a second one and there's a third one. And hopefully all of these display perfectly. So let's come back here and refresh. And ta-da, that's amazing. So all I need to do now is uh, change the pictures. So let's go back here and do that. So for this one, we can say uh, elephant. That is the last one, and this one can be beach. And then we just need to change the titles, so I don't know what I had in my design. Island hopping, beach holiday, African safari. Let's let's try that. Uh, island holiday, uh, beach 
holiday or African safari. And no, my battery is gonna die. Where's my charger? Oh, phew. Okay, save that battery. Um, now let's uh, let's take a look at this in the browser. So let's come back here, refresh. Sweet, that's looking much, much better. Everything is just looking a little bit too small compared to my design or compared to the size of these headings. So let's go back to Photoshop and see uh, what size I actually made the text here. Uh, ooh, that's that size 36 pixels, that's way too big. <laughs> Um, how big did I have the heading on the slideshow? Let's see. Head on the slideshow. That was... Oops. Am I on the slideshow? No, I'm not. Okay. Okay, so how big was this text? 52 pixels, wow. Okay, I really overcated on that design. Uh, hmm. Okay. Okay, so this video is getting kind of long or you know, at least a little bit longer than I thought it was gonna be. So I'm gonna end this video off here and I'll catch up with you guys in the next video where we will definitely be adding some more space above uh, some of these packages. And then also I might wanna relook at the size of some of these headings. But anyway, just thanks for watching and I just wanna send a huge shout out to the guys whose names are on screen now. So these guys contribute $5 or more every single month on Patreon and that goes a long way to helping me, helping me make more videos for you guys more often. So uh, if you do like the videos I, I make and you wanna help me make more, consider making a pledge on Patreon and uh, if you guys can't contribute financially, then don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, a like, share this video. All of that stuff is gonna help my channel grow and I'll see you guys next time.